<laughs> so you make sure you make your phone yeah, when you're working on your car. Second Tuesday, and Melissa Rose comes up. Yeah. yeah. But that is a word. At least if you were in Hanford, but probably you get about the hood, you go over. Yeah, yeah. Is that what you're looking for? The little pins? I would. No, tomorrow nobody will be there. Um, in the conversation with them, or I would have thanked you. I appreciate that. I sure I got your right thing. You did. Good job. Oh, hi, Mike. How are you doing? Good. Good. I didn't wear my Hawaiian shirt, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, Hi, man. Hey. Hey. Hey, what are you, sir? I don't know if we're going to have Ron. Dawn, is that Ken? Yeah. Where did you get your shirt, Jamie? Well, I bought it here, but it came out really. Yeah, early. because I tried before, and she didn't have any women who gave me the name of the place, and I lost it. Oh, no. Yeah, get that to me. Yeah. yeah. It's just been years since we wore it. Because some of the members of the Finding of Dawn have. Someone local? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, turn much Where is Don going off to? Don is in Connecticut. The thing is, daughter and granddaughter are going to the 50th wedding anniversary of some of the people he worked with and knew his first well, out in the workforce. 50th anniversary. Mm. Wow. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what time did you go to work? Say it, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Well, I've. Twenty five or seventy five, we could have met him when he was twenty five. Okay, well, we're going to check since someone stole our clock. <laughs> oh, I didn't bring my. my this thing said ten oh, minutes. Oh, oh, three minutes to target. Minutes. Oh, mine's not on. <laughs> so it's six oh four on my computer. Mine's not on. On your personal one? My I've got uh, I've got two minutes. No, this is a town computer. Yeah, and it's all on. We're all on the same system. So. Well, it's, it's not. It minutes, should be used in British home, in time. <laughs> 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 you know, oh, okay. <laughs> how cool! <laughs> Did you hear that? What's that? <laughs> on page. Yeah. Right there. I'm back on page uh, three. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't it says estimated length ten minutes. minutes. So, you bid 30, <laughs> the chief bid 45, and Mike bids 10. I like it. I like Mike's better. <laughs> I'm voting for Mike. Sounds good. Sounds good. Too many irons in the fire. Yeah. Linda said too many meetings. I've had, it's been that way. That's the first thing he hey. said to me when I walked in. Too many meetings. You've got to stop meeting like this. This is my fourth. You would have been happy the last one. Mm -hmm. Last night we had a meeting. Right. <laughs> Which meeting was that? Introduction or inter introducing the concept state parks to the uh, oh, public. Oh, okay. That was great last night. And they, they, they liked the concept. Oh, they liked them and they added some stuff to it. And they were talking terminology I had no idea, but <laughs> the kids and the BMXers were excited. And I guess we're on the. Uh, Facebook now, and <laughs> we're out there. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah, we're out there. <laughs> that's a problem. <laughs> when you get on Facebook, you're smiling. You're that's a fun. We're not in there. I refuse. So uh, yeah. I figure, and I, uh, they're going to take back all the uh, ideas and things and fine tune the uh, skate park and bring it back to us. Comes time, I'll sell you my concrete tools cheap. <laughs> That's a young man's yeah, sport, that work in mud. Oh. That is, oh, yeah. that, we had there just ain't enough Advil in the world. <laughs> <laughs> we had one gentleman there with his kids, or grandkids, mm -hmm. whatever, I didn't pay attention. Mm -hmm. But uh, he's got a cement pumper, and he's ready to volunteer to go ahead and let you yeah. do the foundation and set the steel, and I'll go yeah. ahead and pump your cement from Drake. <laughs> That's a, 
those those are pretty amazing machines, man. They can reach. Well, they reach way out there, there and they get all the corners and they get to drop it in one spot. Yeah. And they just keep that bucket filled up. Yeah. Gone are the days of wheelbarrowing. Oh yeah, we don't do that no more. <laughs> okay, the hour is now six o'clock. Let's go ahead and call this meeting to order. Oh, better turn our mics on. It says here we're broadcasting live. <coughs> so, all right. We'll go ahead and call this meeting to order. Uh, Ms. Lewis, may we have the roll call? You bet. Councilmember McKee. Here. Councilmember Hatch. Here. Councilmember Best. Here. Vice Mayor Croft. Hi, here. <laughs> and Mayor Marling. <laughs> Wrong meeting. Here, here, here also. All right. Review, discussion, and revision of the draft strategic plan. Ruth May. Ruth? Good evening, Mayor and Council. Before you, you have uh, yet another version of the draft strategic plan. Um, we tried to get a little closer to fin the finish line this time, give it a little bit better uh, layout and a little bit better framework and organization. Um, you'll notice that the um, it's separated into better, more relevant sections. We talked about mission statements, community vision statements, and corporate vision statements all together. And then rather than splitting up the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats, and trends into a separate section, I tried to separate them all and apply them to the relevant key result area so that the, there was some continuity to the discussion. Um, we also included the downsized five-year plans and a spreadsheet form, and it's too bad Councilman Turner isn't here to see this. <laughs> so there is one sheet for each one of the goals. Uh, we also included a, a SMART goal for each goal in each key result area to try to focus on how this is relevant to the town and why we need to do these things. And um, Really, those are, those are the um, overall updates. We can walk through each KRA if you want, or however you would like to review it. What's the, what's the council's pleasure? I, I can read, so I don't need to be walking. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're all big fans of lots and lots yeah. of meetings. All right, I'd love all right. to have some time just to look at this. Sure. Oh. One thing that I, I wanted to, uh, to note is on page 8, uh, it, it's got a uh, little segment sort of set inset. It says, throughout the strategic planning process, as well as the visioning process for the general plan, six common themes occur. Community and economic development, including planning and construction of infrastructure, have been neglected and the local economy is suffering as a result. Number two, the town needs a broader economic base, grow the pie. Number three, manage housing growth to fit the water supply. Number four, a broader range of housing types needs to be available across all income levels. Number five, economic development will rebuild town coffers and reduce reliance on state and federal governments, enabling the town to save for the future and better survive coming economic downturns. And number six, focus on broad policy that will result in a rising tide that lifts all boats, not just maintain the status quo. Uh, number five was uh, the the previous council, I believe, in in uh, in uh, Councilwoman Hatch's uh, first two years. I remember hearing that that the economic development. Uh, would help the town to reduce reliance on state and federal governments. So I think it's it's neat that we're still we continue to be aware of that. Um, uh, ever since the uh, uh, the state yanked a lot of its funding from us, we've been we've been hard pressed, and uh, I think it'll help us in the in the future. Um, anyway, if 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 you folks all would rather just. Uh, uh, if you wish, we can just highlight each of the goals and then go home and, and read up on it or whatever you guys are game for. I think so. Ruth has done a great job on this. Mm -hmm. It makes you. it much, so much easier to deal with. And, uh, yeah, that sounded like a It was a lot of information to compress. You bet. <laughs> one one, one uh, request, there, there wasn't a key on each of these goals. I'm assuming 
that the uh, the red, the solid red. Oh right, yes. And the and the the red stripe. The red stripe means uh, ongoing in in progress. Okay. Yeah. Yes, we had a fun time with getting these reformatted and resized, and things disappeared and reappeared in other pages, and oh, okay. so. <laughs> We, I think we finally figured out how to make it work so that we can fit it onto one page. We just have to go back and fix them all now so that they're consistent. Okay. So the, 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 the dark gray means an ongoing process. Like right, exactly. Red, again, is like last time, was either the termination of a project or, I'm sorry, was the where town council action is required. Oh, okay. Red so, is. and then red is things that, the red lines are things that are already underway, and if you see it going into the future, those are actions that are ongoing. Okay, so red. So there is no stop to it. All right, red is termination or uh, That's town TC council action, right, that's council where town action. council acts. Okay. For instance, if you'll notice down at the at, um, goal one, develop it ad adequate revenue instruments. Objective D is says establish plan for rating day fund and action two is recognize efforts to reduce spending and carry funds forward is all gray. That should be red lines. Again, I had a little dispute with Excel. Oh, okay. That, that, uh, you're down in objective D? You, uh, you know what? Nam numbering 13. These, page 13. 13. Page numbering 13. these is a good idea, too. Okay. okay. So, so on page 13, you were down in objective D in the bottom. Right, and it okay. says action two, recognize efforts to reduce spending, and it's a gray solid line. That really should be a gray um, forward slash line in those boxes that fill should, because it's an ongoing project that oh, okay. we're going to do from this point forward. Okay, excellent. So that's what those really should be. Okay, ongoing project. So. What, what page is the part on there about the medical marijuana farms? Because we just finished that one. Right. Uh, that's, um, on that's on goal. That's on the same page. Objective B. Objective B. So we have adopt policy in the second quarter of 2014 and then forward policy to relevant stakeholders at state, and legis state legislature and regis regulatory agencies for to be finished up by the end of quarter three. Yeah. So I think. Perhaps not done and we're already complete on something. Right? Yeah, I, I, I believe I, I got an email from Councilwoman Hatch this afternoon hitting the send button. So. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a, a red with a smiley face on we it. We need to drum up support in order to get that to go forward. We need to talk to some of the leadership and other communities to get you them bet. back at because otherwise it isn't going to go anywhere in the yeah. League of Cities. So. Well, it's, it looks like it's going to be on the docket at our next uh, um, gamma yeah. meeting. Uh, so it, uh, I'm, I don't have the date for the next gamma meeting That's with fine. me. So yeah. anyway, that'll be, that'll be up in front of the mayors for northern Arizona. So okay. all right. Excellent. Any other questions as we go through? Uh, I had a, a brief comment on page 15, objective B uh, is uh, down below goal three, renegotiate concessionary agreement with uh, the PSC. Mm -hmm. That is on our docket for our next council meeting. So some of these are moving forward pretty fast. Now. All right, so we'll just move oh, that one over. We should spell out PSC. Yeah. And then put it in parentheses. Yeah, yeah uh, that. Prescott Sportsman's Club. Anything that ARS PSC probably needs to be spelled out for those of us that. There are so <laughs> many acronyms. There are so many acronyms. <laughs> Sure. I thought ARS meant already regionally senile. You were making fun of me here. No, no. Okay. What uh, Arizona revised statute? So. ARS, yes. I know what it is. Cool. Other people might not. All right. Excellent. And uh, one other one, if you would look down on page 20 of 30, down on Objective C, and Councilwoman Hatch and I were at a meeting the other day that we're some of that stuff is already happening. Which one's that? Uh, develop programs to support entrepreneurs and small businesses in Chino Valley. Yes. Uh, uh, NACOG is, uh, is lighting a fire on that one. So Great. That's a, that's a good Do you one. Prep NACOG? Yes. So I can yeah. add NACOG to the list? They're all moving. You bet. Yeah. Swiftly. Okay. Well, Great. Well, they're, you know, now that we're more active, they're really beginning to hear us more and you ask bet. us when mm -hmm. things come up so you bet excellent 
from us. Okay. And I only had one other comment and on uh, page 29 of 30. It says, Institute Annual Survey of Residents to Gauge Sentiment About Town Policies. I think that's a good idea. I think as we continue those, we'll probably get a higher and higher um, level of feedback. Right? So I think that's going to be a good measuring stick for us. Sure. All and right. again, the town is small enough in population. I think that's a manageable activity. Yes. We bet. have interns that we can come in, and it's a good experience for them to conduct a survey. You bet. Cool. So. All right. If there's no other questions on this side or comments. Or on this I would side. just like to comment. I'm really impressed, too. You really did a good job well, of thank pulling you. together Excellent. all of what we said that we probably couldn't have done. <laughs> no. You really no. struck the wall down, let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We'd have that, probably had a fist fight before. Yeah, too. yeah. <laughs> no, this, this is excellent. It's in a small, easily readable package. And if you'll note... That's 11 minutes. 11 minutes. That's because you talked. <laughs> Is this the size you want Ruth, me who's to follow lady? on? Ruth, yeah. who's a young lady? If, you yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Would. For those yeah. of you who have not met Elise, Elise is our new planning assistant, and uh, she's a graduate of cool. ASU, right. and she is learning the ropes of planning, and this is the place to do it because she gets to do a little bit of everything. I've seen her with you, but I didn't know who she yes, was. Yes, and she was one of the ones pounding her head on the desk and frustration over the shrinking of the spreadsheets to try to mat to get them on the page yeah everything's and things jumping everywhere so like i said it's it's readable it's in a good That's format good. and had i not talked we'd have made the 10 minute mark so <laughs> as councilman best <laughs> duly noted all right well if everybody's good the chair would entertain a motion to adjourn oh fine Yes, is this something you want to formally adopt at a future meeting? At a, at a future council meeting? Yeah. Yeah, we have to. Yeah. We have to. Okay. Yeah, we have to. Okay, so do you want me to put this on then for a council action? Got or do it. you want to see it one more time? Let's see it one more time. Let's see it one more okay. time. Yeah, that's good. Good. After I all had a look at it and some discussion. Yeah, yes. you guys are going to pass 15 minutes here. <laughs> Given the volume of what uh, council's anticipated on its next two agendas, could we push this into the June month um, and, and maybe alleviate, alleviate a little pressure off of May? I, I would be overjoyed with that. We've got a full docket for the next two meetings for certain. So. Does that no suit the council okay? Yeah, give us time to study this. All right, excellent. Now we have our homework. <laughs> I hope you're happy. I'm happy, happy. All right, thank you. All right. Now the chair would entertain a motion. To I move that we adjourn. Second. <laughs> motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say aye. Aye. Tracy's and I went down to the news. Tracy.